everyone, I'm Orla from F1 in Schools Ireland. Hope you're enjoying the competition so far. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about your enterprise portfolio. So I'm sure you already know by now, but the competition is split uh, into six different judging sections. Two of them are going to involve designing and creating your own portfolio. Uh, I'm going to zone in on just one of those portfolio to, portfolios today, which is your enterprise portfolio. So at your regional finals in March, you are going to want one hard copy of the of this enterprise portfolio. Uh, then when you get to your national finals, should you progress, two identical hard copies will be required of your enterprise portfolio. Now we should flag it that F1 in Schools Ireland has to retain a copy of it at the end of your national finals. So you can submit it electronically if you like, or we can keep one hard copy, but a copy has to be kept by F1 in Schools Ireland. Um, a3 size or similar is what we would like and 10 pages so this can be 10 pages of single you know single sides or you can have five double-sided pages but we're only going to mark 10 pages of content this doesn't include your front or back covers obviously and any extra information on front or back co covers isn't going to be marked either so 10 pages and just keep it to that make sure you utilize your space squish it all into those 10 pages we want no space wasted if you get what i mean the enterprise portfolio 100 points of the competition is going for this now if you flick to page 32 of your competition regulations for this year at the top of it you're going to see an enterprise scorecard and the top part of the enterprise scorecard goes for your enterprise portfolio just like this so if you look at it it's split into five different subsections and we're going to go through each subsection just one by one just to kind of explain um what they mean what they require there's 20 points going for each subsection which adds up to the hundred and we will just do a little breakdown of it all and hopefully it'll be a bit helpful right so your first 20 marks of your enterprise portfolio is going for your overall project management so how did you approach the project an integral part of planning a project is your project scope so what did your team need to achieve and what were you going to do to achieve that goal? How did you split up your time? Did you have realistic time goals? Were you able to keep on track of time? Did people slip off? Projects as big as this don't happen without significant resources. So what information, materials did you need? What people did you need? Um, what money did you need? And where were you going to get all that? Also, did you put in place anything to stop risks from happening? To stop potential problems happening so um you know did you take risks into consideration if anything was going to hinder your timetable of events how were you going to minimize the impact it was going to have on that and i mentioned money there lay out your budgets for us we want to see where you were planning on spending all the money and did it actually go to plan we want to see what you were planning on spending money on and we want detail make sure you give us a good bit of detail so we get a nice picture as to where your money went from your various sponsors and as I go to the project management part of the enterprise scorecard for the enterprise portfolio, if you want to get into the high band, what's looked for is um, comprehensive project management. You have to consider a range of factors, i.e., as we've just mentioned, scope, time, resources and project risks. Uh, plan changes discussed and we want to see a comp comprehensive financial management, as I just mentioned, with your budgets there as well. Next 20 marks, teamwork. To get into the high band for teamwork, highly structured team with clear roles. All team members had effective and critical contributions, role interactions recognised. So you might know exactly what you've done over the last couple of months or weeks to get yourselves this far to your regionals, your nationals. But we as judges, we haven't a clue. We're only meeting you for the first time that day. So lay it all out for us. Who's who? Who did what? Give us detail. Circa gathered sponsorship. It's not going to cut it. Sirica got in touch with various companies. She organised to meet with various companies, pitched them, our team and the F1 in Schools competition. She then organised to gather funds to, she then organised to gather the funds that were proposed from the certain company to give to us. Um, we want detail. So make sure you give us that and uh, make sure we see how you interacted with each other. So like your design engineer is obviously going to liaise with your manufacturing engineer because um, let's say 
your manufacturing engineer spots a problem, a potential problem with the car and it's not going to be right when it's manufactured, obviously they have to relay that to your design engineer to make sure that your design engineer changes the design before the competition. How did your team come about? Who put you all together? How did you all come together and, and say we want to be an F1 in schools team? Um, have, how did you deal with conflict in the team? Did you have anything to anything put in place to resolve problems quickly, fairly and to move on and not waste time bickering or, you know, falling out over certain things? Because uh, when you're working together for a certain amount of time, it's quite likely to happen. You know, it's multidisciplinary competition. So we as judges want to see what each individual person brings to the table. Make sure you lay it all out for us in your teamwork section of your enterprise portfolio. Third section of your enterprise portfolio, your sponsorship and marketing summary. It's the next 20 points. Let's talk business here. Who helped you get where you are today? Who did you partner with? Did you keep it local? Did you go further afield? Who did you approach? Did you, were you listened to by everyone? Um, what did people ask for from you when they finally listened to you? What did you ask of them when they wanted to know what you needed? Uh, did you find it difficult approaching certain people? What did you find was the best method that worked for you with regards to sponsorship and marketing? Was going face to face and talking to someone face to face better than sending an email? Let us know how you got on with that. They're investing in you as a team. Are they getting a high return on that investment? What even is return on investment? How is it calculated? Um, where will your sponsor's logos be seen if they decide to sponsor you? Will it be seen on your car? Will it be at your pit display at the national finals and seen by people from all over the country? Tell us how you talked tactics with people and how you persuaded them and encouraged them to get on board and to support your project. Referring back to the enterprise portfolio assessment, to get in the high band in the sponsorship and marketing summary part, we would like to see a range of relevant sponsors or partners. Um, creative activities linked to return on investment and evidence of the F1 in Schools programme marketing. So make sure you let them know all who about who we are at F1 in Schools also. Next is your F1 in Schools project evaluation. So that's the next 20 marks. So be critical about your work as a team. What worked for you in the competition and what didn't work? You know, can you recognise your failures as well as your successes? Um, how have you grown? Show us how you've grown as a team. Show us how you've grown professionally and intellectually. Uh, I can use, I suppose, my own team won't mind me using an example here of us, but like when we started out, we were giddy TYs. Um, I think we realised that we weren't doing as much work as we should have when we were up till about four in the morning before the night before the regional finals. I don't know, somehow we scraped together, uh, we pulled it together, we got through our regional finals and we came back and we, re we realised, God, we just had way too much crack at the meetings and we actually didn't knuckle down to do work, if you get what I mean. So we realised that um, we kind of made a conscious effort, the six of us, to make sure we're doing more work at meetings, like we can have the crack outside of meeting time. And we ended up, you know, we ended up, thank God we did, because we ended up getting to the world finals. So it was good that we recognised where we were, we were, excuse me, where we were slipping down. And that helped us to grow. And definitely that helped us to grow. And then by the time we reached our national finals, there was a massive difference um, in our team, in our standards of work, because we got more done. So things like that. Make sure you recognise where your downfalls are and make sure you say that to us because we know then that you are growing as a team. So if you look at the high band of the F1 in Schools project evaluation, we're looking for excellent ongoing project enterprise evaluation linked to improvement actions. That brings us to document presentation, the fifth part on your last 20 marks. So how does your document look when it's put together? It's quite basic. Um, is it bound? Is it printed? Does it look well when it's put together? Is your spacing consistent? Are there spelling or grammar mistakes? Uh, what's the finish on the sheets? Is it nice quality printing? Just make sure it looks the part and it's presented well and obviously we'll have a lot to read on the day so make sure it's legible to the judges and easy to read as well. And to get into the high band of that on your scorecard we'll be looking for a high impact from the document and it has to look professional throughout. Uh, consistent and we need clear organisation in that also. So I've just been through that with you. So that's really it for me, guys. Uh, thanks a million for watching. I hope it's been of a bit of use and get in contact with us definitely if you've any more questions between now and the competition. And I suppose I'm just really looking forward to meeting you all and wish you the best of luck. Thanks a million.